Hello my YouTube friends! There aren't a lot of people who actually do videos on streaming with a Mac. And in the past, that was for a pretty good reason in my opinion. In fact, I pointed them out several times in a bunch of different videos. So which one is best? In a word, the PC. So really we're just talking about the wrong tool for the job. And if you're really serious about live streaming and you own a Mac, you should seriously consider just getting a dedicated streaming PC. But then the new M1 Max happened and I streamed with that thing and pushed it as hard as I can and it performed absolutely flawlessly. I mean, I was totally shocked, but there were still things that were difficult or impossible to do when streaming with a Mac. Audio is is really difficult and all you could really do is capture desktop audio and that is not ideal that was then and this is now today I want to show you how you can separate audio sources on your Mac in OBS and control each one individually this is a true game changer for streaming on a Mac and it's really easy as well so you know what let's get to it <laughs> Likes and comments are super easy things that you can do to help push this video to a wider audience. So take a second down below and let me know how I'm doing. And while you're there, if you're not subscribed, please do. It really does help me continue to make content that helps you. And it's totally free. So thanks. The app I want to show you today is called Caster and it's from Ginger Audio. Now in full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Ginger Audio. But when they told me about this app in development nearly six months ago, I was really, really excited. The release product is everything they said it would be and more. And the features coming soon are ones that you're gonna wanna hear about, so make sure you stick around till the end. To check out Caster Free, there is a link in the description below. But for now, let's dive in and change live streaming on your Mac forever. So this is the Caster page. The link is in the description down below. All you have to do is click on download Caster, but you can see it tells you a little bit about it. You're going to learn everything you need to know from this video, but this is what the web page does look like. All you have to do is click download Caster, and then you just go into Finder in your downloads. And I'm gonna right click on this and go to open and it will bring this up and I just click continue and continue and it's gonna ask me to agree with the license and then I just install it. It'll ask me for my password to install it and I just put that in and click install the software. It runs through, it's very small package, it runs really quick and then you just have to click restart for it to restart your computer before you can start to use it. And now it's fully installed, of course, once you've restarted. So to open up Caster, we're just gonna go into Finder and double click on it. It's gonna be under the C's. And once it's opened, here's what we're gonna get. Looks pretty complicated. I do understand that. But there is an FAQ on all of the things that this will do. If you go into the ground control caster guide, here is a listing of what all the buttons do. And I'll include this in the description as a link so you can check it out. But I'm gonna tell you what all that stuff does anyways. So next I opened up a window to YouTube. So we have a video in here and that's gonna give us some audio. And I also opened up a game. Yes, you can game on a Mac. So how do we add these in individually into Caster? Well, you can see desktop audio is already here, but if we click this and go to add, then I can add Divinity and there we see it right there and it's already playing. You see it has some audio in it. We can adjust the volume here or we can adjust the master audio over in outputs. Then I'm gonna click this and we're gonna add our Google Chrome. That way we can also get the sound from our video. And if I click play here, flip back over into Caster, now you can see that our Google Chrome audio is also playing. We can adjust the volume here. You can see you can also mute it down at the bottom to your headphones or to the stream, whichever one you want. But we don't actually have it going out to our stream just yet. So how do we do that? Well, it's pretty simple actually. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna click on this button. And then we're gonna move this little slider here on direct to, and that is going to create an input for us. So now all we have to do is go into OBS and add our sources. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus under our scene. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and add a display capture. And we'll 
call this one game and I'll click OK. And there we go, it's capturing our game. And I'm just gonna right click on it and go ahead and transform it and fit it to the screen so it's not absolutely gigantic. And there we go. Now we need to add the audio for the game. So all we have to do is click the plus, go to audio input capture, and we'll put game audio here and click OK. Then I can drop down the device and select Divinity Original Sin. So we imported the audio directly from there. It's just that audio, nothing else. Now I can add a video capture device and I'll add the existing one, which is just our camera. And I'll shrink this up a little bit, put it down here in the bottom left hand corner. And all I have to do then is add my microphone in here. I'll go to audio input capture. I can add an existing one that I already added. Click OK. And there we go. So now we have two separate audio devices, game audio and our microphone. Now I'm going to click the plus under scenes and add another scene. In this case, we're going to add a window capture and I'm just gonna call this one video and I'll select our proper window and click OK. And there we go. So now we need to add the audio, go to audio input capture and I'll call this video audio and click OK. And all I have to do is drop this down and select our Google Chrome audio and click OK. Now when I play the video, I can flip back over into our OBS and we can see that our video audio is coming in. We can adjust the volume and do whatever we like. Now I can click the plus and go to video capture device. I can add my camera in here, shrink it down, and I can add my audio by clicking the plus and going to audio input capture. And there we go. So now we have my microphone audio in there. And if we wanted to, we could even add our game in here. We'll go to display capture and we'll just add the game we already added and we can go ahead and right click and transform and fit to screen and then shrink it up, place it wherever we want on the screen. And all we would need to do now is click the plus, go to audio input capture and select our game audio and we can add that to this scene as well. And it's limitless the amount of audio that you can add. In fact, if you didn't want to add your microphone into OBS directly, you can add it through Caster, and soon enough, there's going to be good reason to do that. I'll talk about that at the end of the video. But as you can see, you can separate audio devices and bring them into OBS now on a Mac. It's absolutely amazing. So the last one over here is the soundboard, and this is really cool. We can go ahead and give it the direct to, then we go down into our sources, we add an audio input, and I'll just call this soundboard and click OK. And we'll drop this down right here, and we'll select our caster soundboard soundboard and click OK. And now all we have to do is go into caster and click any of the buttons associated with audio. And it's going to play that audio source. And there are four different menus for this. So there are a lot of different sounds. And the best part about this is if we click this little three dots over here on the right hand side for these sound effects, we can go to file, browse file and load in our own soundboard files, change the name and use those. So it gives you a whole bunch that you can use or you can change it to all of your own. It's absolutely fantastic and it works perfectly. So the menu over here, if you go up here to this, you can change the actual mode from light to dark. We've got a scaling button right here, the second one down. So we can change the scale of our caster. This button right here allows you to add MIDI inputs and you can pin it to the top of your screen so it stays on top. So if I open OBS, you can see our caster stays on top. But if I unclick the pin, and then it'll go back behind the other stuff. So that works really, really well. And then this one down here allows us to configure ground central audio devices. Now, if we go up here to our sound, you can see that you have to have caster selected when you do this so that you can set the audio inputs and everything inside caster. And that's the only thing you kind of need to remember if it's not working right, just go up there and set the audio to caster and you're all set. In the center here, we have our add buttons. You can add any application that's open on your computer. Then we have a microphone input and we have an other audio input thing down here for any other audio inputs that you may have. These buttons right here will allow you to actually turn these on or off so they will come through your headphones or your speakers or go out to your stream depending upon if that's how you want it to output to your stream. 
you can go in here and select which output you want your headphones to be. So you make sure that you have the right ones if you're going to monitor the session through Caster. You can mute and unmute your inputs right here as well individually. And then if we go up here to settings, we've got the same thing, scaling, and you, you can add a bunch of tracks, even up to unlimited, and you can see all of them. It allows you to set your latency. Obviously, latency is one of those things that people find to be very, very important. Then you have a sample rate, so you can change up your sample rate if you want it higher or lower. The ground control audio device, which is the same thing we looked at before from the shortcut in the menu. You've got your recording settings which is really cool you can set up a lot of different things in here to allow everything to record and I will show you how that works in a moment you got your MIDI settings and your hotkeys this is a good one because this means you can configure it up with your stream deck you can go in here and set hotkeys for anything to adjust volume and all that kind of stuff and even set it up for your soundboard so you never really have to come back into Caster if you don't want to. You can easily adjust the volume with hotkeys or your stream deck. It's really awesome. All you have to do is click the plus over here on the right and you can set your hotkeys. Now there's also a shortcut right here. This little flaming thing takes you right to your hotkeys. It's right on the menu. If we go back into settings, we can check for updates. We can delete devices for ground control we can go in here and change our preferences and then there is the licensing piece now if we wanted to record we just click this button and it records and this records in a very very special way if we open up the folder after we recorded something and i'll just drag it over here we can open up that folder and look at this so it recorded the full stream together and then it recorded each individual input after plugins and you can set it up so it does it before plugins or after and it will record each individual input separately which is awesome this is the perfect thing for remixing your live streams together or if you're going to do a podcast or something like that, you're going to get perfect audio individually from each one. Now when you download Caster, it does come with a 14 day trial of all the features and then you can continue with the free license. But if you do decide to upgrade, I think it's well worth it. Now there is this update button up here at the top. If you have an unregistered version, you can just click on that and it brings you to the upgrade now. And this software is only 50 bucks. Literally changes the way that you can stream in Mac for $50 and it's only one time and then when you get your license you can go down here to the license activation we'll drag this out all you have to do is put your email address and your license code in there and activate it it's really that easy and it's so cheap one time 50 bucks and you can absolutely control your audio and when you hear about the features that are coming for this well you're gonna flip Things that are gonna be added to the app soon are pretty exciting too. There's going to be plugins for noise reduction that you can apply to any input and it's truly amazing. It's gonna have multiple presets that will run off an AI that's designed for specific types of noise reduction. So if you wanna run that air conditioning or your fan during the live stream, there's gonna be a setting to remove it. Road noise? No problem. No more guessing or playing for hours with a bunch of nebulous settings. There's already a button for it. It's epic. And there's also going to be a voice changer soon. And it's for Macs, of course. And you know there aren't any viable options out there for Mac voice changers right now. So that's really exciting. Be sure to click the link in the description to check it out. There is a 14 day trial to check out the fullest version. And after the trial, the free version does a lot of the things that you already want as well. I'm gonna be doing a video outlining what you can do in the free version really soon. And if you wanna see how hard I pushed the M1 MacBook Pro to test it for streaming, you should check this video out. Big thanks to Ginger Audio for sponsoring this video. You can find their links and links to all the other sponsors that support this channel in the description below under sponsors. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you. So thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.